Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is uh, Mr. Rebanjo. Like I promised in the v previous video, that uh, we are going to be solving uh, Lagos State Public Secondary School examination, second term examination for SS2 students. They are going to be solving their mathematic, uh, mathematics uh, question, both objective and theory. So they just concluded this examination for second term. So we are going to re review the question together step by step. And uh, if you really want to check other past questions, you can check my play playlist. There's a folder that contains all the uh, past questions they have uh, solved in uh, Lagos State Public Secondary School for SS1 and SS2 general mathematics and further mathematics as well so but before we get it started if you have not subscribed to this channel please you can click on the subscribe button right now so that uh, you'll be notified whenever we post video on this channel and you can also share this video with your st with students in um, various school in uh, Lagos State so that will help them so that to equip them very well in forthcoming examination. So without wishing much of our time, let's jump to the first question. The first question is on uh, approximation. You have to correct you have to correct 0 0.04945 to two significant figure. So to two significant figure, the second significant number here is nine. Nine is the second significant number here. Four is the first four is the first significant number. 9 is the second so look at the number after 9 if it is up to 5 you run it up to 9 so you add it up you run it up to 1 and add it to the 9 but if it's not up to 5 run it down to 0 and add it to 9 so every other thing becomes 0 but this number here is not up to 5 so run it down to 0 you add it to 9 so that means the number becomes 0 0.049 so and that's what you're having here as our our solution and option B is the correct option for question number one. Question number two is on sword. You have to simplify this. And if you don't understand sword very well, please there's a topic, there's a video in my channel that I've already ma I made recently on sword. It it's it's uh encompass all everything what you everything you are meant to know on sword. So please check that video if you really want to help yourself on sword very well. If you want to understand what you have done here, you can look at you know check the uh the it's a full course on the swords. Now without wishing much of our time, we have four over sword three minus three over sword two. It is it is not well written, but I've helped you to rearrange it. So there are ways in which you can approach this. You can find the LCM force and the LCM is sword six sword six. So, how do we do that? Sort so 3 in sort 6 will give us sort 2. Sort 2 times uh, 5 will give us 5 sort 2 minus. Sort 2 in sort 6 will give us sort 3 times 3 will give us 3 minus 3 sort 3. Then from there, we can you, you rationalize the denominator here because we cannot leave our denominator in sort form. So that means sort 6 will multiply up and down. And that's what we are having here. So sort 6 times sort 6 will give us a 6. Then this or six will multiply the numerator. So sort six times five sort two will give us a five sort twelve because sort two times sort six give us sort twelve. Then also sort three times sort six will give us sort eighteen. Then we have three sort eighteen left here over six. We can simplify sort twelve further. So how do we do that? Look for two number you can multiply together to give us sort two, uh, twelve. And one of them is a perfect square so that will be four times three and then what is sort four that is two two times five will give us a ten we are left with sort three and that's what you have in here minus you can also simplify sort 18 but further by looking for two number you can multiply together to give us 18 and one of them is a perfect square so that is nine times two and what sort of nine that is three three times three will give us this nine and you are left with sort two here which is this sort two here over six so therefore, 
you can write this answer as 1 over 6 into bracket 10 or 3 minus 9 or 2 and option b is the correct option for question number uh, number two question number three is on the algebraic fraction you have to write as a single fraction one over s one over one over one minus s plus two over one plus x so we can find the lcm the lcm is one minus s into one plus x that's the lcm then 1 minus x in this you give us 1 plus x times 1 1 plus x plus this in this you give us a 1 minus x left times 2 you give us 2 into 1 minus x if you open the bracket you have 1 plus x then 2 times 1 will give us 2 then 2 times minus x give us minus 2x then if you look at the denominator this is a difference of two squares it's a difference of two squares or if you open the bracket you have 1 minus x squared so then if you simplify the numerator 1 plus 2 will give us 3 s minus 2 s will give us a uh, minus x and uh, if you look at the option provided option b is correct and option c is also correct so i think that's an error from them so question number four what must be added to the expression s square minus 18s to make it a perfect square? So this is a quadratic expression. It you have s square minus 18x. What must be added to it to make it a perfect square? So there are ways to go about this. If you are a, if you are a further mathematics student, there's a way you can do this by using discriminant to find it. But since this is a general mathematics question, we can do you can use the complete the square method. We can complete the square by using the completing the square method. We can half and square the equation of x here. What equation of x here? This is minus 18. If you half it, that will give us a uh, minus 9. Then if you now squared it, that will give us 81. So you add it to this. That will give us a uh, square minus 18 s plus 81. So that means 81 is what will make this a perfect squared. So option B is the correct option for question number 4. Question number 5, we have to solve this equation m over 3 plus 1 over 2 equals to 3 over 4 plus m over 4. So this is a equation uh, in algebraic uh, fraction. So it's very simple as well. What can we do? We can try to get rid of the denominators by finding their LCM, which is uh, 12, and multiply through by 12. So you multiply this by 12, multiply this by 12, by 12, by 12, and that's what we are having here. So 3 in 12 give us 4, 4 times 7 give us 4m. 2 in 12 is 6 times 1, 6. Equals to 4 in 12 is 3 times 3. Then 4 in uh, 12 is 3 times m, it give us 3m. If you simplify that 4 down, we have 9 here. Then you can call it like times, you have 4m minus 3m equals to 9 minus 6 4 m minus 3 m give us m equals to 3 so that means our m is 3 and the uh, option d is the correct option for question number 5 question number 6 is on circle geometry <laughs> it's on circle geometry in the diagram below o is the center of the circle angle pur is 20, 126 degrees find angle pqr angle p Q R, which is the angle here. We have to find this angle here. Although the diagram is not well uh, drawn, but nevertheless, you can still work with this. So we are looking for this angle here. And this angle here has a relationship with the reflex angle of P O R. The angle here, the other, this one, this reflex angle here, P O R. The angle here is twice the angle that is here. So then if we know the angle that is here we can find the one that we are looking for then how do we find this angle por reflex angle por reflex is 360 minus 126 because this angle here is 126 then we can find the other one por reflex that should be 360 minus 126 reason angle at a point so and that por reflex will give us 134 degrees then the angle here we are looking for angle pqr is half of this angle here so that means to get this angle here that means you have this angle here so that means you have half of 234 and that gives us 117 
so option b is the correct option for question number six question number seven we have to find the gradient of the line which passes through this point and this point so you are giving two coordinates of a of point that a line passes through so you have to find the gradient of this line i mean that we can use a uh, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1 where m is the gradient so from these two coordinates you can get our y2 y1 s2 and s1 these are s y2 these are y1 these are s2 these are s1 so we have 2 minus 2 over 4 minus minus 3 so what is 2 minus 2 that is 0 then that give us 4 plus 3 so 0 over 7 that, that give us 0 so that means the gradient is zero. So option B is the correct option for question number seven. Question number eight is find the equation for the line passing through this point and this point. The, equation, the question is from uh, coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry. So you have to find the equation of a straight line. Equation of a straight line is the is this. This is the equation of a straight line like equation of a quadratic equation is y is uh, a s square plus b s plus c also equation of a straight line uh, is y equals to m s plus c where y and s are the two variables in the equation m is the gradient or slope then c is the y intercept so the equation we are looking for will look like this this is like a template or uh, this is like a template for equation of a straight line so the equation we are looking for will look like this so all you need to do is to find the slope, then we can find the y-intercept, then we know the equation. So in this case, we have been given the slope or the gradient to be the minus 3, so you put it here, your m is minus 3. So that means this one become y is equal to minus 3 s plus c. Then from there, you have been given that the line passes through this coordinate, minus 2, comma 5. So we can use that to find the value of our c. So at, the, at this point, y is 5, s is minus 2. So if you put it into this, you have y to be 5 into equals to minus 3 into minus 2 plus <coughs> plus c so we have 5 is equals to minus 3 times minus 2 give us 6 plus c correct like times c will be 5 minus 6 and that gives us minus 1 so if you return back into this you have y equals to minus 3 x minus 1 so that's the equation we are looking for and option d is the correct option for question number 8 question number 9 which of the following is a point on the curve? Which of the following is a point on the curve? Y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 7. So out of all these coordinates given to us, which one is the point on this curve? It's quite simple. If s is 0, for this coordinate, s is 0, y is 6. If I put 0 here, yeah, 0, this one becomes 0. So y is, not, y, is become, y is 7, which is not 6. So that means this one is wrong. For this one, s is 1. That means you have a s is 1. You have 1 squared minus 4. That 1 squared is 1 minus 4, then plus 7. So, what do we have? Uh, my 1 minus 4 is minus 3 plus 7. That gives us 4. So, that means that gives us this 4 here. So, none of the rest is the answer apart from the option B. So, when s is 1, y is 4. So option B is the correct option for question number 9. Question number 10 is from undivine fraction. For what value of S is the expression S squared plus 15S plus 50 over S minus 5 not defined? <coughs> Pardon me for that. So we have S squared plus 15S plus 50 over S minus 5. When do we say a fraction is undivine? When do we have a fraction not to be defined? when the denominator is equal to zero when the denominator of a fraction is equal to zero that means the question the fraction is undefined so what do we do we have to look for the uh, the value of x that will make it undefined so equate the denominator to be equal to five to, to be equal to zero you have s minus five equals to zero so from there you can be able to find your x s will be equal to five so if s is equal to five then you have five minus five and that gives us zero so that means this fraction become undefined so that means our s is 5 and option d is the correct option for question number 10. question number 11 is on uh, inequalities but there's a slight mistake in the question if s is positive for what 
for what range of values of x is 4s plus 3s less than 10. <coughs> so none of the options here uh, look like what you're having here, but nevertheless, we just solve it on our own. 4s plus 3s will give us 7s less than 10. You can divide both sides by 7 to give us range of values of x. But none of the option here is correct. So uh, I think the question, there's a mistake in the question. <coughs> question number 12. Which of the following is a root of the equation? Which of the following is a root of the equation? This is a quadratic equation, but it's not a complete one. So they want to know one of the answers for this uh, equation. What can we do? We can factorize s out here. So we have s into s plus 6 equals to 0. So that means our s is 0 or s plus 6 is also equals to 0. From idea of our quadratic equation. So we can simplify this one further. That means s will be minus 6. So out of this, which one is here? S is equal to 0, and which is uh, option A. Question number 13 is uh, factorization of a quadratic expression of two variables. So we have 6s squared plus 7sy minus 5y squared. Majority of the students don't know how to factorize this kind of uh, uh, quadratic expression because of two variables, but it's quite simple. You do it the same way you do, you simplify quadratic expression of one variable. You just try to neglect this y squared. Do as if it's not there. So 6 will multiply minus 5. You have minus 5 times 6. That gives us minus 30. Then look for two numbers you can multiply together to give us minus 30. And when you add them together, you give us a plus 7. These two numbers are plus 10 and minus 3. Plus 10 and minus 3. Plus 10 times minus 3 give us a minus 30. And when you add them together, you give us plus 7. So in that case, that your 10 plus 10 instead of putting ordinary x you put xy at the back then minus 3 as well you put xy at the back as well so the equation the expression becomes 6s 6s squared plus 10xy minus 3xy then minus 5y squared because if you add these two together it gives us 7xy so you can factorize this something is common 2s is common you have 2s into 3x plus 5y close the bracket something is common here minus y is common into 3s plus 5y so we have 2s minus y into 3s plus 5y so we have been able to factorize this and that's what it gives us so if you look at the option provided option uh, b is the correct option if you look at it critically question number 14 is on uh, length of hack uh, sorry length of chord length of chord the angle subtended the obstinated by the angle subtended at the center by a chord of cent of circle radius six centimeter is 120 degrees find the length of the chord <coughs> so there's formula for finding length of a chord some formula of finding length of a chord is two half sine theta over two where this theta uh, this the theta the angle here is a uh, half so they have the angle here two half sine theta over two so we have been given the radius of the circle and we know the angle, the chord subtend at the center. <coughs> so that means you have 2 times 6, which is the radius 6, sine 120 over 2, that will be sine 60. 2 times 6 is 12, and sine 60 is so 3 over 2. 2 can take care of two, 12, and that gives us 6. 6 times 6 times so 3 gives us 6 or so 3. So option B is the correct option for question number 14. Question number 15 is on circle geometry as well. In the diagram, PQ is a tangent to a circle RST at T. This is a tangent. Then side ST is equal to side SR. That's why you're having this, this slant line on this. And go RTQ. RTQ is 68. This angle is 68 degrees. Find angle PTS. PTS. The angle outside here. I want to find the angle here. Now it's quite simple as well. Now the angle here is 68. That means the angle here is also 68. Angle T S R is also 68. The reason alternate segment. <coughs> Sorry for that. So this is uh, 68 degrees. 
then if this angle is 68 degree this the uh, triangle tsr is an isosceles triangle because two sides are equal so if this angle is 68 degrees that means to get these two base angles then they are they are equal base angle versus triangle are equal so this angle here is equal to this angle here now that this angle is 68 degrees you can remove it from 180 then whatever you get you divide by 2 so that will give us a uh, 56 degrees so angle str uh, angle str which is this angle and angle trs trs which is this angle are 56 degree each so if they are 56 degree each then our aim is to find this angle here there's a relationship between this angle here and this angle srt this angle here so angle trs which is this angle is equal to this angle pts reason alternate segment as well this angle here is equal to this angle and this angle here is equal to this angle here so option d <coughs> is the correct option for question number 15. question number 16 now is the next question we have to solve calculate correct or two significant figure the length of an arc of a circle of radius 3.5 cm which subtends an angle of 75 degrees at the center of the circle pi is 22 by 7 so length of an arc of a circle length of an arc is theta over 360 times 2 pi r we already know the angle given which is 75 over 360 times 2 times 22 by 7 being the pi and the radius is uh, 7 on 3.5 which is 7 over 2 then if you simplify that further with your calculator that should give us uh, 4.6 centimeter as your answer and option b is the correct option for that question number 17 is also on a circle geometry the diagram below shows the circle pqrs in which angle peak prq angle prq this angle is 54 degrees and angle spq spq the total the all angle is a 97 degree find angle pqs p QS the angle marked here so it's very simple as well angle PRQ uh, is equal to this angle here PQS or PSQ this angle here is equal to this angle here reason being that they are in the same segment angle the same segment are equal so that means this angle is uh, 54 degrees so if you now look at a triangle PSQ this triangle PSQ we know this angle here at 54 and we know the angle here as 97 so we can find the third angle there we're using sum of angle in the triangle and that's what we have here and uh, this plus this plus this should give us 180 then we have 97 plus 54 that should give us uh, uh, 151 then we move 151 from uh, 180 that should give us uh, 29 degrees so angle pqs is 29 degrees and option b is the correct option question number 18 is on trigonometric ratio if sin theta is equal to k find tan theta where your theta is ranging from 0 degrees to 90 degrees so if sin theta is equal to k so you can write this k as k over 1 so draw a right angle triangle because of the trigonometric ratio is related to the right angle triangle so include the angle theta then sine is opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse so k will be here one will be here then you can find the third side using Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem is the square of this hypotenuse side equals to the sum of the square of the remaining two sides so k squared plus this side squared so one square seems to as one so you can make this one sort of formula so you have s squared equals to one minus k squared our aim is to find x not s square so you can take your square you can take the square root of both sides so s will be equals to square root of one minus uh, s squared pardon me uh, that is wrong that s is equals to square root of one minus k square not s square one man uh, square root of one minus k squared so that means this side is a uh, square root of one minus k squared and question also to find tan theta tan theta is a uh, tour adjacent uh, opposite of adjacent opposite over adjacent is tan so opposite over adjacent that will be k over the square root of one minus k square 
square root of 1 minus k squared and the option C is the correct option for question number 19 so number 18 question number 19 is a, uh, the application of trigonometric ratio a ladder 6 meter long leans against a vertical wall a ladder 6 meter long leans against a vertical wall rest upon against rest against a vertical wall so that it make an angle of 60 degree with the wall it make this angle 60 degree with this wall calculate the distance of the foot of the ladder from here uh the foot of the ladder from the wall from here to here that's what we are looking for and that's what we represent as x so we cannot use Pythagoras theorem because we only have one side given so we can use the geometric ratio so what relation between this side this side and this angle that is opposite over hypotenuse that is sine 60 equals to s over 6 so from there you can cross multiply you have s to be 6 sine 60 and what is sine 60? sine 60 is so 3 over 2 so 2 can go in 6 that will be 3 that means 3 times so 3 will give us <coughs> 3 so 3 so option option d is the correct option for question number 19 sorry i have cough uh -huh. so that's why uh the the my voice is uh, cracking so pardon me for that Question number 20 is uh, you have to uh, sub cos 57 as the same value as what? Cos 57 as the same value as uh, sine 147 degrees. So it can be this, it can be this. So cos 57, if you press the calculator, give us an answer. So if you press the same sine 447 as well, give us the same answer as this. So option C is the correct option. Question number 21 is also on the undefined fraction. Find the values of s for which the expression is undefined. 6s minus 1 over s squared plus 4s minus 5. So, what will make this fraction undefined is when the denominator is equal to 0. So, equate it to 0, you have s squared plus 4s minus 5 equal to 0. So, you can now solve this quadratic equation. So, you look for two numbers, you can multiply together to give us minus 5. And when you add it together, give us plus 4. And that should be plus 5 minus 1. So, and that's what we are having here. And if you simplify this further, you factorize this, factorize this. So, you have this. Then, s minus 1 into s plus 5 equals 0. Then, it means that your s will be 1 or s will be what minus 5 so option b is the correct option for question number 21 question number 22 is on inequalities solve the inequality 1 over 3 into 2s plus, uh, minus 1 less than 5 so you have to solve this inequality we can uh, multiply both sides by 3 so that will give us a uh, 2s minus 1 equals to 15 so color light times 2s equals to 16 divide both sides by 2 that will give us s to be s less than 8 so therefore option d is the correct option for question number 22 question number 23 is on uh, circle geometry as well in the diagram below o is the center of the circle and psi bd is equal to psi bc psi bd is equal to psi bc angle uh dcb is 35 degrees this angle here is 35 degree d uh dcb is 35 degrees find angle bao angle b a o which is this angle here you are looking for the angle here but the reason the we have this diagram is that this diagram is not correct it is not well structured it's not well this line is supposed to be straight so it's not well so if you use the diagram you'll not be able to solve this uh, question but that's why I, I i drew the diagram properly now how do we solve the question this side is equal to this side that's why we have been we have been told so that made this triangle b so d b c and i this triangle and uh, we know that base angle of a triangle are equal that means this angle here is equal to this angle that is here maybe this is 35 this is also 35 so we can find the third angle here but nevertheless 
we can also find you can find this angle inside there which is an exterior angle to this triangle dbc and we know that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to this opposite interior to the sum of the two opposite interior angle so this angle here will be 70 degrees because 35 plus 35 will give us this angle here <coughs> so this is 70 degrees and also we know that this angle abd angle abd will be what 90 degrees reason angle in a semicircle because this is a diameter a d is a diameter so that means this angle is a is a right angle so this angle is right angle 90 and this angle is uh, 70 so we can use some of angle in a triangle to find this third angle in this triangle a b d so 90 plus 70 give us 160 the 180 minus 160 will give us a uh, 20 degrees so option a is the correct option for question number uh, this question this question then the next question we are having a chord is five centimeter from the center of the circle of diameter 26 centimeter find the length of the chord so this we cannot use uh, the, the other formula that we use to find length of the chord in this case we are giving the distance of the chord from the center of the circle so this is the center of the circle we can this is the chord and this is the the distance of the chord from the center of the circle is five centimeter and we have given the diameter which is 26 centimeter so we can find the the radius if the diameter is 26 that means the radius is 13 so that means the radius oa is uh, 13 so we can find from year to year so and we know that from year to year same thing that from year to year using the midpoint theorem so midpoint theorem says that uh, a line drawn from the center of the circle to a chord will bisect the chord into two equal half so that means if you get from year to year then plus from year to year will give us the length of the chord and how do we get from year to year you can use Pythagoras theorem because this is a right angle triangle so that means you have our ao square equals to whole b square plus a b square so that means you have 13 square equals to 5 square plus a b square so 169 uh equals to 25 plus a b square collect light times a b square will be 169 minus 25 equals 144 square root of both sides give us a b to the 12 so for me from year to year is 12 if from year to year is 12 that means from year to year is also 12 so that means the length of the chord will be if which is ac will be 24 and option c is the correct option for that question question number 25 is also on a trigonometric ratio we have to find the value of theta between 0 degrees and uh, 360 degrees when sine theta is equal to half what can we do in this case we can find the value of our theta first by finding the sine inverse of 1 over 2 and that should give us a 30 degrees so the, since we are told that the angle is between 0 degrees so 360 degrees that means you have to use quadrant so and in our quadrant we know that the first quadrant all are positive in second quadrant sine is positive and if you look at the angle for our sine it is positive angles so that means we don't need tan, we don't need cosine. So we need this one and this one. And in the first uh first quadrant, that, that will represent the angle we got, which is 30 degrees. So then the second quadrant, which is for sine, sine is positive here. So in the second quadrant, we have a 180 minus theta. So that will give us a 180 minus theta, that will be 180 minus 30 degrees, and that should give us 150 degrees. So the angles is 30 degrees, comma 150 degrees, and none of the option here is the correct option. Question number 26 express as a single fraction x over s minus 2 minus s plus 2 over s plus 3. What you can do here is to find the LCM and what's the LCM? S minus 2, s, minus s plus 3. Then what do you do? This in this, you have s plus 3 left, then multiply by this, you have this. Then this in this as well, you have a s minus 2 left and multiply this, you have this as well. So you can now open the bracket of the numerator. S times L give us S square, S times C give us 3x. Then you can also open these two brackets. Then S times S you give us S square, S times minus 2 will give us minus 2x. 2 times S you give us plus 2x. Then 2 times minus 2 give us minus 4. Then if you simplify that further, you have a minus 2s minus 2 uh, minus 2s plus 2s will give us 0 there that means you are left with s square minus 4 
then if you open the bracket with minus you have s square plus 3s minus s square minus s minus give us plus 4 so s square will take care of s square we are left with 3s plus 4 here over s plus 3 into s minus 3 minus 2 so option d is the correct option for question number 26 question number 27 is also on the inequalities uh, we are to solve inequalities y minus 3 less than y divided by 2 y minus 3 less than y over 2 so you can uh, multiply both sides by 2 to clear this fraction so that will give us 2y minus 6 less than y collect like times you have a 2y minus y then this one goes here less than uh, 6 2y minus y give us y less than 6 so none of the option here is correct as well In 28, we have two chords PQ and RS of a circle intercept at the right angles at a point inside the circle. If angle QPR is 35 degrees, find angle PQS. So for this question, the question is on circle geometry, but you are not giving the diagram to use. So that means they want you to interpret the diagram yourself and uh, be able to solve it. And this is the diagram. If you have a circle and we have two chords PQ and they have s and they intercept at a right angle so this chord intercept this chord at a right angle as you can see so from there if angle p q p r angle q p then r so there was no line that was joining p to r before we are only having this line and this line there was no line joining them before so what do you do you draw a line from p to r so that there will be angle P Q uh, P R, which is 35 degrees. So uh, you have to find angle P Q S. P Q S. There was no line joining P Q to S as well before. No line joining Q to S. So that means you be, uh, you are looking for angle P Q S. That means there should be a line that will join it together as well. So this line, this one is not necessary, but this one is necessary. So how do we find this angle here? PQS. So it's very simple as well. If this angle here is 35, this e angle here is 90 degrees because you say intercept at right angle. So that means this angle here is also 90 degrees. Angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. So this is 90. The inside triangle, this triangle, this triangle here. We can find this angle at R here using some of angle in a triangle. So this is 90 plus 135 minus 180 that give us a uh, 55 degrees. So that means this angle here, angle PRS, this angle here is uh, 55. Then if this angle here is 55, what is this angle here? It's also 55 degrees, reaching angle in the same segment. So this angle, uh, 20, 28 is C. Now evaluate. Uh, sort of 20 times sort of uh, 5 cube this question is on sort as well so we have sort 20 times sort of uh, 5 cube we can simplify so 20 further that will be 4 uh, four times 5 and what is sort for, uh, 4 that is 2 then that we have in here 2 then sort 5 times sort 5 that means sort 5 in 3 places in sort 5 cube we sort 5 in 3 places so 5 times so 5 times so 5. So 5 times so 5 will give us 5 times so 5. That will be 5 so 5 that we are having here. So we are now having 2 so 5 times 5 so 5. 2 times 5 will give us 10. So 5 times so 5 will give us 5. So 10 times 5 will give us 50. And option D is the correct option for question number 29. Question number 30 also is on a sort. We have K sort 28 plus sort 63 minus sort 7 equals to 0. We can simplify so 28 further. So by looking for two numbers, you can multiply together to give us 28. And one of them is a perfect square. So that will be 4 times 7. So what is sort 4? That is 2. 2 times k will give us 2k. We are left with sort 7 plus. We can simplify so 63 as well further. That will be 9 times 7. 9 is a perfect square. So 9 is 3. Then we have 3 sort 7 minus 7. Sort 7 equals 0. Then from there. 3 sort 7 minus sort 7 will give us a 2 sort 7. 
that is three ball minus one ball give us two balls so we are now having two k sub seven plus two sub seven so we can color light and this one can come to this side that means you have two k sub two two k sub seven equals to minus two sub seven then from there two can take care of two so and sub seven can take care of sub seven as well so that means you'll be having two divided by two give us minus one so that means you'll be having okay if i do it the way i did it here so seven will take care of sub seven that means you have a two k equals to minus two two can take care of two that means you have k to be minus one so option b is the correct option for question number 30. question number 31 is also on sort you have 10 divided by sort 32 10 divided by sort 32 so we can simplify sort 32 further that should give us a uh, 10 divided by 4 sort 2 if you don't know how to simplify sort, sort go and watch the video i have on sort in my youtube channel it's very interesting and it teach it teaches even uh, it we we explain everything on sort in that video so that uh, you understand what you have done here then two can go here two can go here that will be of five over two sort two so what do you do right rationalize this sort so that will give us a uh, by using this denominator to multiply up and down 5 times this will give us a 10 so 2 2 times 2 give us 4 so 2 times so 2 will give us a 2 then 2 that 2 times 4 will give us 8 so from there 2 can go here 2 can go here that will give us 5 so 2 over 4 and option A is the correct option question number 32 is on uh, is on uh, in, uh, substitution that led to simultaneous equation Given that uh, y is equal to ps plus q and y is 5 y uh, when s is 3 and while y is 4 s is also 2 find values of p and q when your y is 5 put your 5 here s is 3 so that means you'll be having 5 equals to 3p plus q second one y is 4 s is 2 and we have 4 is equal to 2p plus q we can solve these two equations simultaneously by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 so that means you have 5 minus 4 that will give us a uh, 1 3p minus 2p that will give us p q minus q is 0 so p is equal to 1 then when you know our p to be 1 you can substitute that into the end of the equation to give us our q so we put p in equation 1 that means you have 5 in equals to 3 into 1 plus q that will give us 5 equals to 3 plus q q will be 5 minus 3 that will give us 2 so if you look at it, option B is the correct option for question number 32. Question number 33, you have to evaluate this when S is minus 1. So this is substitution in algebraic expression. So if you, you have this uh, quadratic expression up and down, and our S is minus 1. So whatever you see as you put minus 1 there, you have minus 1 squared plus minus 1, minus 2 over 2 into minus 1 squared plus minus 1 minus 3 this will give us 1 then minus 1 minus 2 over this will give us 1 here times 2 2 minus 1 minus 3 so that should give us uh, uh, minus 1 minus 1 is 0 but that we have minus 2 then under as well we have uh, 2 minus 1 is uh, uh, 1 1 minus 3 will give us minus 2 so 2 minus we take care of minus 2 divided by 2 give us 1 so option D is the correct option. Question number 35, 34 is on algebraic expression as well. So algebraic fraction rather. So you have simplified 2s minus 1 over 3 minus s plus 3 over 2. From there, what can we do? We can find the LCM which is 6. So 3 in 6 is 2. Multiply by this, you have this. Minus 2 in 6 is 3. Multiply by this, you have this. If you open the bracket, you have 4s minus 2. Then open this bracket, you have minus 3 minus 9. For the light times, 4s minus 3 give us uh, x. 4s minus 3 as you give us uh, x. Minus 2 minus 9 give us minus 11 over 6. And option C is the correct option for question number 34. Question number 35 is on inequalities as well. If y minus 3 over 2 less than 2y uh, minus 1 over 3, which of the following is true? So, what can we do? 
you can find the LCM of the denominators and multiply through by the LCM and the LCM is 6 so in that case we have 6 into bracket 1 minus 3 over 2 less than 6 into bracket 2 y minus 1 over 3 2 can go in 6 that will be 3 then if 3 open the brackets you have 3 y minus 9 less than 3 in 6 is 2 2 open the bracket you have 4 y minus 2 you can take the like times we have 3 y minus 4 y less than uh, minus 2 plus 9 3 y minus 4 y will give us a minus y less than 7 so because of this minus we divide both sides by minus 1 so the inequality will change to greater than so you have y is greater than minus 7 so y is greater than minus 7 and option c is the correct option there question number 36 so this also is on inequalities given this uh, diagram you have to sh tell us the out of this inequality the one that represents this diagram so it's very simple you can first of all interpret each of them before you now combine them together for these inequalities this this is shaded and the arrow is going this way so uh, it's on minus seven the range of value of uh, the value that are here at this side are greater than minus seven so they are greater but this, because it's shaded now that means it will be greater than or equals to minus seven also for this one as well it's on minus one and the arrow is going this way and this is all shaded so that means the values of the values at this side are less than minus one so and because it's shaded that will be less than or equals to minus one if you now combine this together now so you have minus seven less than or equals to x less than or equals to minus one so option c is the correct option question number 37 we have uh, if 2x to s plus 1 is equal to 3 to 2 what is the value of x this is on ratio so of course it's also an algebraic uh, fraction 2s to s plus 1 can be written as 2x over s plus 1 likewise 3 to 2 is also 3 over 2 from there you can collect like times or multi sorry cross multiply that will give us uh, this times this give us 4s then this multiply by this that will give us 3s plus 3 take like time that will be 4s minus 3 that give us uh, 4s minus 3s will give us uh, x equals to 3 so option d is the correct option for question number 37 question number 38 find the range of values of s for which s plus 2 over 4 minus s plus 1 over 3 is greater than 1 over 2 this is also for more inequalities so we can clear the denominator by multiplying through by the lcm which is 12 so we multiply through by 12 we have this then 4 in 12 give us 3 you have 3 into s plus 2 3 into 4 12 will give you 4 then 2 can go in 12 is 6 if you open the bracket you have 3s plus 6 minus 4s plus uh, minus uh, 4 greater than 6 collect like times you have 3s minus 4 that gives us minus x 6 minus 4 gives us plus 2 greater than 6 collect like time also we have uh, minus x 6 minus 2 will give us uh, 4 minus x is greater than 4 so if you divide both sides by minus 1 that will give s is less than minus 4 and option d is equal, um, s is less than minus 4 rather option d is the correct option question number 39 is on uh, circle geometry the diagram is a circle center o find the value of x so if you look at this question very well this angle here given to us 2x plus 15 which is angle pqr has relationship with this angle por reflex this angle here so and how can we get this angle here by using angle at a point so if you remove this 60 here from 360 it will give us this angle pur reflex using angle at a point that should give us a uh, 292 then the angle here is twice the angle here so what do we do if i have this angle here that will be equal to this angle so since the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference 
so the angle here if i show half it it will be equal to this so 292 divided by 2 give us a 146 it will be now be equal to 2s plus 15 if you take light times that will be 2s equals to 146 minus 15 that will give us 131 the s equals to 131 divided by 2 and that should give us 65.5 so none of the option here is correct as well question number 40 you have to simplify 2 over 3s minus 3 over 4 yz this is also a algebraic fraction so what can we do we can find the lcm as well that will be 12 xyz as the lcm so 3xy in this will give us a uh, 4z so 4z times 2 give us a 2 4z minus 4yz in this will give us 3x times 3 we have this if you open the bracket, you have 2 times 4z, that gives us 8z minus 9x. So there's nothing we can do to get there's nothing we can do further in this case. So that means our answer is this and option D is the correct option. Question number 41. For what values of y is this expression? Y six y minus 1 over y square minus y minus 6 not defined. I think we have done something like this before today in this uh, video. So this fraction will be undefined when the denominator is equal to zero. So that means you have y square minus y minus c equal to zero. And this is a, a quadratic equation that you have to solve. So when you solve it, you have a y plus two into y minus three equal to zero. In this case, your y will be minus two and your y or your y will be three. So and uh, you can test that when you put your minus two here, that means you have minus two squared that will be four. You put your minus two here, minus two minus times minus minus times minus to give up two, um, plus. So four plus two will give us six. Six minus six will give us zero. Also, if you put three here as well, can simplify as well. It will give you zero. So option uh, option B is the correct option for question number forty one. Question number forty three is on uh, inequalities as well. We are to solve these inequalities and represent it on the number line. So you have three x plus fifteen greater than zero. Curly line times 3s greater than minus 5, 15. Then the variable side by 3, that will give us 3s is greater than minus 5. So if you represent it on a number line, you have this, you put your minus 5. The inequality is a strong inequality. You have 0 without shading it. The range of x that is greater than minus 5, where are they? They are this side. So you, strong, you draw a line here and go this. So you saw that option C is the correct, the one that looks like this. Question number 43. A chord of length 6 cm is drawn from the is drawn in the center of a circle of radius 5 cm. Find the distance of the chord from the center of the circle. So in this case, we are we have a circle and uh, the length of the chord is uh, 6 cm. And there's a line drawn from the center of the circle to the chord. That means that line will divide that chord into two equal half according to the midpoint theorem so that means from here to here is will be 3 from here to here will be 3 as well and also we know the radius of the circle which is 5 cm so we can find the distance of the curve from the center which is our whole B using Pythagoras theorem so we have 5 square equals to 3 square plus OB squared so we have 25 equals to 9 plus OB squared Collect light times OB squared equals to 25 minus 9 equals to, that will give us 16 to find our OB state square root of both sides, that will give us 4. So that means this side of the curve from the center of the circle is uh, 4 cm. And option D is the correct option. Question number 44. For what range of values of S is 4x minus 3 into 2x minus 1 greater than 1? We can open the bracket. The question is on inequalities as well. We have 4x minus 6x plus 3. If you open the bracket, greater than 1. Collect like times. 4x minus 6x will give us minus 2x, then plus 3 greater than 1. Take 3 to the other side, we have minus 2x greater than uh, 1 minus 3 is minus 2. We can divide both sides by minus 2, and the inequality will change. So, so, sorry for this equality sign, you have s is less than 1. So, s is less than 1, and uh, none of the option here is correct. Now, question number 45 is on sort. We have sort 50 
plus 10 over sub 2. So, 10, sub 50 plus 10 over sub 2. What can we do? We can simplify sub 50 to get be, uh, further. So, that should give us a uh, 5 sub 2. Plus, we can rationalize this uh, 10 over sub 2 because of the denominator. So, this will multiply up and down. So, that means we have uh, this time D give us 10 sub 2 over so 2 times so 2 give us 2 so from there 2 can go in 10 that will 5 so 2 left so 5 so 2 plus 5 so 2 will give us a toss and 10 so 2 and option b is the correct option also question number 46 is on uh, plane geometry in the figure uh, in the figure pq s is a straight line what is the value of angle prq P R Q. This is angle here. So it's very simple. You can there are methods in which you can do that. You can you find this angle here. Then you now you sum of angle in a triangle. But there's a smarter method which is uh, the exterior angle here is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angle of a triangle. So that means this angle here plus this angle here should give us 148. <coughs> so and that's what we have we have explained here. So how can I find this angle here? That would be 148 minus 70, and that should give us 78 degrees. So that means uh, option D is the correct option. Question number 47 is on circle geometry. We have to find this angle Y given this angle here. And you should know that there, there is a relationship between this angle here and this angle here. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So if this is 58, this angle here will be 2 times 58. And that should give us a 116 degrees. And option C is the correct option. Question number 48. Given that tan x is 2 over 3, where theta is uh, s is between 0 degree and 90 degrees, find 2 sin theta. So tan s is 2 over 3. So we can, uh, all you need to do is to draw a rectangle triangle. Then tan is a uh, S is the angle, put your angle, tan is opposite of adjacent, 2 over 3. Then you can find this hypotenuse side using Pythagoras theorem. If you do that, you'll be having AC to be equal to square root of 13. Then from there, you can now find sine. Sine is opposite of hypotenuse. That should be 2 sine S equals to 2. Sine is 2 over uh, so 13. So that gives us a uh, 4 over so 13. Then we cannot leave answer like this in, in because of sword. So we are going to rationalize this sword. Then that will be sort 13 will multiply up and down. So we'll be having 4 over sort 13 times sort 13 over sort 13. This time D will give us a first sort 13. Then sort 13 times sort 13 will give us 13. So option C is the correct option. Also, you have to simplify this, giving your answer correct to two significant figure. Then, uh, how do we do that? Uh, if you divide this by this, it will give us uh, this. Then, if you take it to uh, two significant figure, this is the second significant number here. So, the number after it is still is not up to 5, round it down to 0 and add it to this. Then, every other thing becomes 0. And that will give us 110 to two significant figure. So, option D is the correct option in that question number 49. So that is the solution to question number 40, 49. Question 
number 50 is uh, question number 50 is not uh, the diagram is not given so that is why we did not uh, present the question for you so we are now going to be solving the theory part of the question uh the theory part of the question uh step by step so before we continue on the theory or uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button right now so that you'll be notified whenever we post information on this platform you can share the video like the video and uh, comment on it as well so for the theory the we are having one number one a to solve equation 2y minus 1 over 3 minus 3y over uh, minus 1 over 4 equals to 1 so that means you are looking for the value of y here and how do we do this it's quite simple we can uh, find the lcm of the of the denominator which is 12 and multiply through by 12 so that to help us clear the the denominator and how do we do that if you multiply through by 12 you have this written then 3 in 12 will give us 4 then the 4 will multiply this 4 in 12 we have 3 and the 3 will multiply everything here then uh, 1 times 12 is 12 then from there we have a uh, 4 times uh, 2 y that gives us 8 y 4 times minus 1 gives us 4 minus 4 then minus 3 times 3y will give us minus 9y minus 3 times minus 1 give us plus 3 equals to 12 if we take like time from there we have 8y minus 9y that will give us minus y minus 4 plus 3 give us a minus 1 equals to 12 take like times minus y equals to 12 plus 1 that will be 13 so that means our y will be minus 13 in that case so that's for question number 1a now question number 1b is on a uh, circle geometry but the diagram given is not well uh, drawn so i took the liberty to draw the diagram very well so this is the correct diagram if you compare to if you have the past question and compare it to it, this you can see that this one is very clear and uh, very okay the diagram is very descriptive now compared to what was given in the diagram ptr is a tangent this is a tangent to the circle center hole if if angle t o n if angle t o n t o n is 108 degrees calculate the size of angle p t n angle p t n angle p t n that means the angle from year to year total angle from year to year is what we want to so <coughs> now how do we do this it's very simple as well if you are if you understand circle geometry very well the angle angle pto angle pto or, or t o ang, or angle otp otp is 90 degrees angle otp is 90 degrees because uh, radius is perpendicular to the to the tangent so the angle here from here to here is 90 degrees so that means if you are left with this one here if you know this one here then that means you will know what uh, or the whole angle from here to here but how do we find the angle from here to here is quite simple as well we know that ot is equal to on they are both radius so they are radii and uh, so that means this angle here will be equal to this angle here because this triangle is an accessory triangle so base angle and triangle are equal so how do we get that so if this is 108 we can remove it from 180 degrees sum of angle in a triangle whatever we have left we divide by 2 that will give us this angle and this angle and that should give us a uh, 36 so this angle here is 36 this angle here is also 36 so if this angle here is 36 and this angle here from here to here is 90 and, and the question asks us to find from here to here so that should be 90 plus 36 so angle ptn is equal to otn which is this angle here sorry uh, this angle here plus otp which is this one here which is 90 and that should give us a uh, 126 degrees then there is angle angle there is a sorry there is a question one about uh, question one c there's a question one c it's not here but the question asks us to simplify this uh, sort so two plus so three over so three <coughs> now to simplify this sort so three two plus so three over so three and how do we do that you do that by rationalizing this sort 
because the denominator is in sort form we rationalize so sort 3 will multiply up and down let me re recap again if you don't understand anything on sort you can visit my channel there is a there is a uh, video i made on sort that encompass everything on sort from beginning to the end i saw we solved sort extensively so that you can visit that uh, video so that you, if you want if you really want to understand sort very well so in this case we rationalize so three will multiply up and down that we're having here so so three times so three will give us three so three times so two give us so six so three times so three will give us three so that means you are left with a so six plus so three over three i can rearrange this that will be three so three plus so six over three which we can split as well to be three over three plus so six over three so 3 can go in 3, that will be 3, uh, 1 plus so 3, so 6 over 3. And that ca can be written as a 1 plus 1 over 3, so 6. So that is the solution for question number 1. Now let's see question number 2. Question number 2, we are having a, a, a solution of a triangle that is not a right angle triangle. And uh, you better use, use your sine rule or cosine rule. And uh, we have inequalities in the, in the uh, in triangle ABC. Angle A is 32 degrees. Side A is 8 centimeter. Side B is 12 centimeter. Find the angle BC. Angle B and C rather. Giving your answer to two decimal places. Scale the triangle. We have triangle ABC, ABC, and angle A is 32 degrees. So the side facing angle A will have small a, which is 8. The side facing angle B, we have small b, which is uh, 12. <coughs> but to find angle B and angle C, how do we do that? We can use sine rule. In this case, we can use sine rule because we have a pair complete. We have this angle and the side facing it, so that's a pair complete. So for this pair, we have it halfway. We have the side, but we don't have the angle facing it, so we can use sine rule to find that. And what's the sine rule? Sine of this angle over this side equals to sine of this angle we are looking for by the side facing it sine 32 over 8 equals to sine b over 12 from there you can uh, cross multiply if you cross multiply we have this time this equals to 8 times sine b then you can divide both sides by 8 your sine b equals to this that will give us 0 0.7949 then to find our b find the sine inverse of this that will give us 52.644 degrees but the question has also leave it in two decimal places and that should give up 52.64 degrees to two decimal places now that we know this angle here now now to, we have to find the other the third angle which is c so we can use sum of angle in a triangle to find that so angle a plus b plus c give us 180 degrees sum of angle in a triangle so this angle is 32 the other one is 52.644 plus c equals 180 then if you add this plus this together that give us 84.644 remove it from 180 that should give us 95.356 degrees so and the uh, c is uh, 95.36 degrees and to two decimal places then for b we have to solve these inequalities we have 5 into s plus 2 minus 2 into 4s minus 1 greater than 6 into 2s minus 3 all you need to do is to open the bracket first that give us 5x plus 10 to multiply the bracket as well minus 8x plus 2 greater than 6 open the bracket you have 12s minus 18 then let's take like times in the left hand side you have 5x minus 8x that give us minus 3x 10 plus 2 give us 12 greater than 12s minus 18 if you collect like times here now you'll be having a uh, this one comes here, you'll be having minus 3x minus 12x, that gives us minus 15x. This one comes here, you'll be having minus 18 minus 12, that gives us minus 30. Then if you divide both sides by minus 15, the inequality will change to less than. Then you'll be having your s less than minus you know, less than 2, because minus will take care of minus. So that is that for question number 2. Question number 3 is on uh, uh, gradient having drawn the graph so you have to draw the graph of this uh, quadratic equation given the value of our s from minus 2 to 5 we have to find the gradient at s is equal to 4 and s is equal to 0 
is quite simple as well. All you need to do is to get the value of the table of value for this uh, equation given to you. So if you create the table, your s is given from minus two to five. You have this. Then put all these variable, all these terms into the table. S square minus three s minus five. Then your y. Fill in all this uh, table. Then you, you can get the value of your y as well. Then when you get that, then you now draw the graph by choosing a suitable scale for your graph. In this case, we chose two centimeters represent one unit on the x axis and one centimeter to represent one unit on the y axis. And if you draw the graph based on what you have on this uh, table, you have this graph like this. You have this is the curve. Now this is the curve. So we draw the axis, then you draw the curve as well. Point this is the first point, second one, third point, this point, another point here, this point, another point, and this one. So this is the curve you have been able to draw to draw so having done that let's go back you have to find the gradient at s equal to four so what do you do you draw a line of tangent to this curve at it as s equal to four so this s equal to four here draw a line of tangent to this curve a line of tangent is the line that is touching the curve at the, a point given to you which is s equal to four then you form a triangle with that curve then calculate your change in y over change in x so if you do that so gradient at s equal to 4 i mean you have our helmet equals to y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s2 equals to so our y2 in this case y2 is somewhere here if you read it that give us 3.2 and our y1 is a uh, minus uh, 6 so if you look at that sorry s is a uh, uh, for this you have minus uh, 3.2 minus open bracket minus 6 over let's check for s2 and s1 s2 is a 5 year s1 is a my 3 uh, 3 so you have 5 minus 3 that give us 2 if you simplify that that give us 9.2 over 2 and that should give us a 4.6 approximately 5 so the gradient of the curve at s is equal to 4 is approximately 5 so you have to also to get the gradient of this curve at s goes to zero as well let's go there so also you draw a line of tangent to this curve at s equal to zero s is equal to zero at any of these as uh, at y as is here any point on the y as is but you cannot just draw it at any point the tangent must be touching the curve so time you have to draw it at this point so we draw a line of tangent in this case then form a triangle as well with it but this tangent will give us a negative gradient this one is positive gradient this one will give us a negative gradient in this case you get your change in y2 is minus 2 and your y1 is minus 1 let's go back so because the gradient is going to give us a negative you introduce a minus into the uh, formula y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1 you introduce a minus here so it equals to minus open bracket our s2 was y2 minus was minus 2 and our s our y1 was minus 10 over let's go back again our s2 is uh, from here i think uh, 1.8 and our y2 uh, our s1 is a uh, minus 1 let's go back so we have a uh, minus 7 uh, sorry we have 1.7 minus open bracket minus 1 if you simplify this further we have a uh, minus 2 plus 10 over 1.7 plus 1 also so minus 2 plus 10 will give us minus uh, minus 2 plus 10 will give us uh, 8 times this minus we go minus 8 1.7 plus 1 give us 2.7 divided that give us minus 2.96 approximately 3 so as the gradient of uh, the curve at s is equal to 0 that's the solution for question number 3 let's go to question number 4 quickly question number four is on uh, the first one is on the sort and the second one is on the simultaneous equation like i said if you really want to understand sort very well please visit the video that i made on sort i s we talk about everything on sort in that video so you may visit it to understand how to simplify sort 
Simplify 3 sort 45 minus 12 sort 5 plus 16 sort 20, leaving your answer in sort form. So 3 sort 4, so 3, uh, this sort 45 can be simplified further by looking for two numbers you can multiply together to give us a uh, sort 45. And one of them is a perfect square, that is 9 times 5. So 9 is a perfect square there. What's sort 9? That is 3. So, uh, uh sorry that's a mistake here uh so nine here is three so three times three should give us nine please pardon me for this there's an omission here this is nine not three i don't know what uh that's an oversight so so three should be so nine should be three then three times three here will give us nine so we are left with sort five here so we're having nine sort five here please bear it in mind so this one has been simplified, so we have minus 12 sort 5. So we can simplify sort 20 as well, that will be 4 times 5. So what is sort 4? That is 2, 2 times 16 give us 32, then sort 5. So here now you are now having 9 sort 5 minus 12 sort 5. So you are having 9 goats, you are owing somebody 12 goats. If you pay, that means you are owing the person uh, 3 goats. So you are having minus 3, minus 3 sort 5 here. So minus 3 sort 5 plus 32 sort 5. What would that give us? That should give us uh, 29 sort 5. 29 sort 5, not 23 sort 5. So the answer is 29 sort 5, not 23 sort 5. Please correct that. Then question number 4b. Using the substitution, m is equal to 1 over x and n is equal to 1 over y. Solve the simultaneous equation s over x plus 1 over y minus 1 equals 0 12 over s minus 7 over y minus 10 equals 0 so this is simultaneous equation but uh, you are first of all to substitute uh, for the value of uh, 1 over x and, for, and 1 over y so the first equation you are having s over 8 over s plus 1 over y minus 1 equals 0 it can be written as uh, 8 into 1 over x plus 1 over y equals to 1. So we have been told that anywhere you see 1 over s, you should replace with m. Anywhere you see uh, 1 over y, you should replace with n. So that means this one return becomes 8m plus n equals to 1. You can call that one equation 1. The second one as well, we are having uh, 12 over x minus 1, 7 over y minus 10 equals to 0. So that means you can also rewrite this one as a uh, 12 into 1 over s minus 7 into 1 over y equals to 10. Take this minus 10 to the other side. So that means 1 over x is a uh, m. So that means this can be written as a uh, 12m minus 7n is equals to 10. Equation 2. You can also solve this equation, these two equations simultaneously. Now using any method you know. But I think I will use uh, elimination method here. I try to make the equation of n to be equal by multiplying this one by 7, by multiplying this one by 1. If you multiply this one by 7, that will go 56m plus 7n equals to 7. If you multiply this one by 1, you see how this one back. So we can now add the two equations, this one and this one together. So this plus this will give us 68m. This plus this will give us 0. 7 plus 10 will give us 17. Therefore, we can divide both sides by 68 m will be equal to 17 divided by 68. 17 can go in 68, that will be 1 over 4. So now that we know the value of our m, we can find the, the value of our n as well in any of these two equations. So put m equals 1 over 4 into equation 1. So anywhere you see m, you put 1 over 4. Equation 1 says that a m 8m plus n equals 1. So you have 8 into 1 over 4 plus n equals 1. So 4 here 1, 4 in 8 is 2 plus n equals 1. So n will be 1 minus 2, that gives us minus 1. Now that we know the value of our m, we know the value of our n, you can you have to find the value of x and y. So you can now go back and find the value of our x and y. Recall that your m is equal to 1 over x. So m is equal to 1 over x and your m is 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 equals 1 over s. So if you inverse this, inverse it, so s will be 4. Also, our n is 1 over 1 over y. So, and our, we have got gotten our n to be minus 1. That would be minus 1 equals 1 over y. 
so that means if you inverse if you inverse both sides your y will be minus one so that is the solution for question number four as well now question number five is the last question for the theory the first one is on uh, circle geometry find the angles mark x and y in the circle given that pqrs is a circle center o angle qps qps is at 32 degrees you have to find the value of angle uh, value of x and y here it's quite simple as well although the diagram is not well drawn but you can still work with it if you, if you understand circle geometry very well uh, you have to find angle x force angle s is a uh, this angle here is twice the angle at the circumference here angle s is 2 times 32 that gives us 64 reason being that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so this is 32 that means angle s is 30 and uh, 64 and if you know that then how do we find angle y angle y have relationship with angle qos reflex the other angle here the one outside here so then how do we find the angle here q qos reflex angle qos reflex is a uh, plus this angle s will give us 360 degrees angle at the point so that means qos reflex will be 360 minus 64 which is our x so that should give us a uh, qos reflex to be 296 so then to now get this angle y here, y will be half of this angle here so y is half of 296 that will be 148 degrees reason being that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference as well so that's for question number 5a question number 5b is a simplification of algebraic uh, fraction we are having that uh, 3x minus y over sy minus 2s plus 3y over 2 into sy plus half so we have to simplify this we can find the lcm of the denominators what are the what's the lcm the lcm is 2sy so sy into sy will give us 2 then the 2 multiply this minus 2sy in 2sy give us 1 times this we have this but the reason why we put it in bracket because the minus will affect everything there plus 2 in 2sy that give us sy times y we have sy and then if you open the bracket you have 6x minus 2y minus 2x minus 3y plus 2y sorry plus xy rather then can we take like times yes 6x minus 2x will give us 4x minus 2y minus 3s sorry minus 2y minus 3y will give us minus 5y then plus xy there's nothing we can do to this uh, again and that's make this the final answer for this uh, question number five b so with that we have been able to solve and uh, the second term examination uh, for ss2 student uh, mathematics objective and theory together in this video so i hope you have been able to learn one or two things in this video please uh, share the video with all the students you think uh, you that is uh, around you in ss2 in lagos state and uh, uh, share the video like it comment on it and if you have not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button right now so that you'll be notified whenever we post information on this channel the next video we are going to be solving the further mathematics for uh, this second term examination for Lagos State Public Secondary School as well. So, watch out and uh, God bless you.